good evening fellow tenants and inhabitants of this territorial nation space that behold itself in Sidos and Sedos as the Republic of Ghana. Unfortunately and lugubriously and sardonically so, it seems we do not have an efficacious and potent political armada in form of an official opposition party. And this is the opportune time for Ghanaians to have an alternative political party to NDC and NPP because I foresee lots of implosions flowing here from. In any case, since Ghana's Fourth Republic or Ghana's over 24 years of Ghana's Fourth Republic, Ghanaians are still apotheosizing about the false and origo of their presidential aspirants. That is to say, where their presidential aspirants come from. Not their merits, not what they can do, not their political pronunciamento. And this shows that there's something wrong with Ghana politics. And it shows that we should renegotiate the character of our political system. The FPP and NDC have ruled the country for over 24, uh, almost 24 years after our fourth republic. What did they use their over 24 years of rulership? Did they use their rulership to enhance the rat tag and buck tail in the northern and southern socio-economic parosphere? How did that enhance the welfare of the whole polloi in the entire country? When President Muhammad from the north was the president of Ghana. And when President Kofu from the south was the president of Ghana, how did that enhance the welfare of average Ghanaians? You can clearly see that it is all a contrivance by the FPP and NDC to get access to power and continue the pillaging and brought of gold and oil for their own egocentric benefit. If NPP or NBC comes to power, still there is a dilapidating state of infrastructure, whether in the north or in the south. Poor health care delivery, whether in the north or in the south. It is all contrivance by the Ghanaian political elite. And it seems like we, we fall into that trap. 20, over 20 years of Ghana's fourth republic. It is a reflective of the fact that Ghana still wallows in a state of many distance statism, calculus, tribalism, ethnocentric chauvinism, epileptic nepotism, catalytic palopism, syphilistic parochialism, and state brigandage of a brewer's dog. What a political foodie toady. What a political gobody cock. What a political uh, jabberwocky. What a political muahahaha. What a political hocus pocus they are come up with. Mr. President, for your own honorific ability to the reports, 
And like I always said, you are the most supercalifragilistic, espialidocious president in Africa. But please stop the fear mongering of Ghanaian journalists. Otherwise, international community is going to regard you as if you are practicing kakisto mobo plutocracy, totalitarianism, and repressiveness, which is bad for the nation. May God bless Ghana and may God bless the people of Ghana. Have a good weekend, guys. Stay blessed.